year ago I applied for a scholarship in Australia called the New Colombo Plan, uh, which essentially allows students to travel, work and study overseas. So I began researching universities in Cambodia and found that UC was the one that suited my needs. After looking at the coursework and the course outlines, the College of Social Sciences had a program that suited my interests. So I arrived in Phnom Penh, so the traffic was amazing, and also the motos, because we don't really see those back home. So after researching about Cambodia's history uh, and the resilience of the people, I decided I'd like to come to study and live here for six months. The University of Cambodia is raising its profile by teaching in English, and having all these new futuristic resources for students. But the university also remains traditional. You know, Cambodia has had this recent troubled past, but its ancient history is amazing. Living in Phnom Penh, you can't help but notice the two parallels of the city. You walk past the royal palace and have this traditional sense of Cambodian culture and history. And then you continue walking down and you see this amazing business popping up. It demonstrates how Cambodia is galloping into the future. The New Colombo Plan Fellowship has been life-changing. For example, I study international relations and that is my major back home at university. But I think those skills only come in handy when you are able to apply them practically. This is obviously two ways. You know, it has helped me, given me practical skills and I've learnt so much about Southeast Asian and specifically Cambodian culture but it also helps the connections between Australia, Cambodia and the region as well. By having pathways for students to interact with businesses, both from Australia and Cambodia, we're able to have multilateral engagement within the region.